Hello guys, my name is Joao Mukanya. I'm a CEO and founder at JT Tips. Welcome back on another video on decision making. So let's talk about what is a decision making. It does allow also to um to display a particular message based on the condition. If a condition is true, then it will display an appropriate message. Otherwise, it's still going to display an appropriate message to let know the user what is happening on the system. If there's an issue on the network, or if there's an issue with the file, reading of a reading from a file, or writing to a file, or saving data to a database, those kind of things features yeah you get my point so uh, so let's see decision okay then we're going to uh we need to cover also there's also one of the features that we're going to use it with our decision making it's called operators so we there's a different type of operators let me first uh specify or type down those first we have a great then uh great oil calls less oil calls and then we have less than uh we have not equals to and then it costs you and then the triple equal sign it's used to this one it will check if both value are the same and then this one will check if uh, both value are the same including that data type if they share the same data type it actually comes very handy so uh, what else uh, mm, I believe that's it yeah okay and then we have also another type of operator called logical operators okay with this one it actually allow us to combine both conditions so let's say for instance you have condition one which it might be true and then you say n and there will be the second one which will also be true then the final answer will be true so what if uh, the second condition was false then the entire thing will be false yeah but that is the different story with all so with all if we have true and then we have false guess what the final result will be true okay then i will create some variable Uh, so in, in here, I'm going to make use of uh, an example on uh, if statement. So let's create some variables. So we have let num1 equals to 8. And then let num2 equals to maybe 5. Then we use uh, our if statement. We check, we're going to check if num1 is greater than num2 then we're just going to display a message this time i'm going to make use of a document dot right uh, document dot right then we're just going to say um, correct all right and otherwise so we need to make use of us also there we say encourage so what what are we saying in here so we say if all the value of num1 is greater than num2 the value of number two then display this then if it's not the case then display that Okay, so let's find out. Uh, I'm just going to open it on the browser. Okay, I'm just pressing it. Okay. 
and then the display correct. Okay. So I'm going to make uh, number one to have a value of four. So by then this line will become incorrect. Okay. And then even though we give them the same value, it's still going to be false because uh, five is not greater than five. Five is equal to five. So that's why it's still going to be incorrect. But if I use I use this one, so this one says that if is greater than if it's not, I mean if it's not greater than uh, the other operand, so this is going to be operand one, this is the operator, and then this will be operand two. If operand one is great or equals to operand two, then if that is the case, we're going to display this message. Otherwise, we display incorrect. So let's have a look. So this time it's going to be correct. It should be correct. Mm. Num one is great. Or it goes to num two. This one is this statement is correct. Or what is the problem? Maybe I didn't save it. So let me refresh it. Okay. There we go. Here we go. And um, then we can also say not equals to. So if they are not the same, then we're going to display correct. Otherwise, we say incorrect. And we're just going to make sure that I save it. <laughs> and then say incorrect. The values are the same. And then we have a uh, equal sign then this one will be correct then we refresh it again bingo and then but also want to check uh -huh. hmm, something. okay yeah so i want to make it uh, i want to make the second variable uh it's value to have a string Okay, like that, then we will see if we check both value, we check if both, both value are the same, then it should display correct. Otherwise, it's going to display incorrect. So on my case, I see that uh, it will be correct, yeah, because it's going to check the value. Yeah, although we know that uh, because somehow it's going to convert the, uh, convert another operand to have the same data type. So let's it just me thinking loud. So let's find out what the value would be. Yeah, it's still correct. So if uh, we make use of triple echo sign, so in here it's where we're going to separate for men, uh, boys for men. <laughs> Uh, so in this case, it's going to be incorrect. Okay, there we go. So I want to apply the logical operator. With a logical operator, I want to use something else. I say if num one is great, then num two. Then we have uh, the n operate operator the end operator um, and then we can use uh, another the same condition then here we say equals to num2 then if both value are the same so the reason why i'm wrapping them uh with a fantasy is to avoid the bug so the the bug is actually something that your statement might be uh, the the process how you use it you use it wrong. So that's why uh, some of the program it's going to produce you with the bug. 
the bug is something that is not true, but gave you the solution. Or oh, it's not. Uh, so let's say, for instance, uh, one plus one. So we know one plus one equals to two. Then if we have a bug, then it will say one or three. <laughs> yeah, so you get my point. So that's why I have to I have to wrap each of, each of those conditions within the parenthesis to avoid those bugs. So you can test it by your own to see uh, what result would be if um, you don't use uh, the parentheses. So I'm going to check. So in this case, it's, this one is going to be true. And uh -uh, this is going to be false. And then this is going to be true. Then false and true, we say that it will be false. Yeah, because when we're using the end operator, uh, both condition must be true. Then it will display incorrect. I'm just going to make sure that I save my web. Incorrect. Then if uh, we use all, then all we say that either one of the condition, if it's true, it's fine by me. <laughs> then it's correct. Okay. Uh, another example that I want to use, uh, this one will be the nested, nest, nested if statement. Mm, so, uh, age is 17. I will say age is 18. Uh, salary, minimum of salary will be 5,000. So bonus goes to 750. So we say if uh, age is greater than 17 then we say if salary is great or equals to 5000 then what then we're going to say document dot right say salary plus bonus okay otherwise uh, we're just going to display the actual salary salary okay then with this one, with this also, it will be, let's say, documents dot rights. Let's say you are not qualified. You are not qualified. Okay. So let's find us. So let's first uh, check our logic. We say that if our age is greater than 17, which is correct. And if this is correct, if the, so I usually refer this one as uh, the auto if statement. Auto if statement. And then this one would be the inner if statement so i'm just going to say inner so if for the outer if statement is true then we can execute whatever statement we have within that particular if statement then it will check this if statement to say uh if a salary is great or equals to five thousand then display that 
otherwise this bit this that if that is incorrect then we're going to display you are not qualified so let's see then give also we will qualify it added we add a bonus to our actual salary okay so let's say for for example the salary is 499 then you're just going to display 499 and then if this guy age is 17 then to display this message you are not qualified all right but instead of using a, a nested if statement i find it is much easier or quicker to use this kind of if statement because you're going to apply your logical operator to uh, combine both con uh, both uh, um, both conditions, yeah. So you have condition one, and then you have condition two. So this is actually simplify this. Okay. So I believe the time is up. Then thank you guys. Bye. Please subscribe, share, and like the video.